And we're following some breaking news at Hidden Lake High School. This is in Westminster. Police say one student was hurt after an explosion in a science room. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is on the scene right now. Mark, what can you tell us? Well, we're at about 73rd and Lowell. I'll show you the scene behind me right now. Westminster Fire says they're basically opening up all the windows of the high school here and using big fans to ventilate the rest of the building. This is basically a science experiment gone bad, as you said. About 7.45 this morning, a high school student was working in that experiment when a chemical reaction caused an explosion. That explosion then blew up. The student was rushed to the hospital with minor injuries, we're told. So that's a little bit of good news here. The fire department, though, was very concerned about residual uh, vapors throughout the rest of the high school. So they quickly evacuated the high school and closed school for the day. And they're going through with some monitors to see just how much of that vapor may be left, if there's any chemical that may be uh, detrimental to students' health. But they're making sure that they get this building ventilated and cleared out. There's a big concern for the safety, of course, of those students. So once they go through and make sure this building is clear, they'll then turn this back over to the school, which is Adams 50 District, which will then decide when they're going to reopen school. A lot of people hoping that comes tomorrow. Now, again, they're working to go, kind of go through this. The crew that you see right here is about the last fire crew working out here. They'll be out here throughout the rest of the day, as will the police department here in Westminster. We're trying to reach out to the school district. As soon as we hear from them, we'll update you with the very latest. I'm Mark Boyle, live in Westminster.